Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome if you are new. My name is Michelle, and this is I Am Michelle. So, <clears throat> first of all, I hope you all can hear me because, of course, I don't have my microphone in. I don't even think it's charged up, so I'm hoping that I'm speaking loud enough for you guys to hear me. It is Tuesday morning, 7.30 a.m. I'm getting ready to get ready for work. Um, I just finished, um, I let the dogs out. I actually cleaned up the kitchen, ate me a little bowl of cereal, got my cappuccino right here. It's frozen, so I'm letting that throw out. Getting ready to take my medicine, throw some water on me, make the bed, throw on some loungewear or something. Um, and I got to do all that by 8 o'clock. I got to clock in. My my day starts at 8 o'clock. So, um, so, I have a... So, let me say, let me explain this. So, I, I here in our city, we have this... Uh, um, we have... How, how can I put this? It's called Neighborhood Housing right and a couple of years ago actually it's kind of every year they had this lottery uh, for home improvements where they um, this particular lottery is um, a new roof or a new porch whether it's front porch or back porch so I enter this lottery every year um, like I said it's part of the home renovation program or something like that and i into i've been doing this lottery for about 10 years and so i finally got approved maybe two years ago for my roof right now there's really nothing wrong with my roof but if they're gonna give me a free roof then because you know roofs are very expensive so i finally um got chosen in a lot finally got picked in the lottery and Guys, I hope you all can hear me because I don't have no microphone. Um, <clears throat> and so when I got picked, they sent me a letter, you know, saying that I got picked and I would have to do paperwork and stuff like that. Okay, cool, no problem. But then I got another letter saying that um, they were so far behind. So basically, we just had to wait. Those that got picked in the lottery a couple years ago had to wait. And it probably has something to do with COVID and stuff like that. But, um, so I finally get a call. Um, what's today? Today is Tuesday. I got a call either Wednesday or Thursday of last year. And, um, let me kind of back up a little bit. So, I got picked for this lottery, right? And we've been waiting two years for them to contact us. So in the midst of that lottery, um, we have a program here called NHS Neighborhood Housing where they do grants for home repairs, right? And so my coworker and I um, had, so when they opened the a, opened a site up to do the application for the grants, they only had it up for about an hour. Now, when they, when I, when we um, got the information for the grants, I came home that evening and I got all of my documents and I took them to work with me because I knew, you know, that the site was opening up. I think it was like 10 o'clock or some. It was only for an hour. And so I was able to do what I was able to do and then kind of upload the documents. But then the site had shut down. It was somewhere. No, no, I take that back. When they opened the site, excuse me, there was no link to get to the application. That's what it was. And then they shut the site down. So, <clears throat> we was kind of wondering, well, you know, why would they do that? What's going on with that? So, but anyway, um, she had got an email from them saying that the site was going to be back open. And she forwarded it to me. They had the link and everything. But the thing was, that email was specifically for her. I couldn't even open the link. So a little while later, I end up getting an email with a link 
and so I opened the link and did everything and I was able to upload my documents right so um, a, a, a week ago um, no about two months after that I got an email and they needed some additional documents that they had you know on their end so they sent me the documents and I sent it you know sent the documents put them out sent them back in and so I called my co-worker I said well hey did you get an email you know saying that that you need some additional documents she was like no she didn't get anything and then a couple of days later she got an email saying that there was no more funding or something of that nature I said, well, I must have gotten approved because they sent me information for additional paperwork. Okay. So the grant is up to $60,000, depending on what you need done in your home, it's up to $60,000, right? So I, I filled out the, the additional paperwork, sent it back in. I got an email last week saying that they needed some more paperwork click the link set up an appointment to do a 90 minute zoom meeting and some a contractor was going to come out to the house to see what was needed done in the house right i said okay so i did all of that and then i got a call okay from the uh first grants program that i didn't know it was the first grants program it was, um, so the guy, you know, he told me I'm from NHS, um, my name is blah, 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 and I'm trying to set up an appointment to come out, and, um, so he said, I'm trying to set an appointment to come out, but he said, before I ask you that, did you apply for the roof or the porch? Now, I didn't say anything about the first one, and I say, Oh, um, I thought you were from the grants program. He said, yes, this is HRP, which is Home Renovation Project something. But anyway, it was the porch and the roof. I was like, oh, I was wondering what happened to y'all because I never heard anything back. And so what he was telling me was that... Um, <clears throat> The government have put a hold on billions of dollars worth of funding for whatever reason it was. I think he told me the reason, but I don't remember what the reason was. But the government put on hold billions of dollars and they just released it. So uh, the people that was in the lottery a couple of years ago, which was me and whomever, a bunch of other people are the first on the list to get this funding to get this stuff done so he said did you pick the porch or the roof so i was like okay yeah i picked the roof you know because the roof like i said is more expensive and he said okay so we're gonna set up an appointment um to come out and we're gonna you know look at the roof or whatever and then they're going to get started on the roof. So they're going to come out today. It's supposed to be between 12 and 1, give or take, you know, 30, 40 minutes, depending on um, his other appointments he has. I said, okay, that's fine. So, um, so I got, I, they're going to come out today. And then on the 24th, I have a Zoom meeting with the other grants people to, um, do whatever they're going to do and then they're going to send a contractor out to look at the house to see what needs to be done so for the roof um, they're coming out today so I'm not sure when they come out like when they're going to get started because I am going out of town next week I'm going on vacation my husband will be here but I won't be here and I don't, I'm not sure if there's something that I need to sign or what have you, but I'm hoping that they, um, if they're going to start, um, if they're going to start like within the next couple of days, what's today? Today is the 9th. 
because I'm, I'm leaving on the um, 18th. Actually, I'm leaving on the 17th, going to my daughter's house and stay there for the night. So we getting on the plane on the 18th. So hopefully between <clears throat> tomorrow and the 16th that they're going to do it or they're going to wait like a couple of weeks, which will be great because then I'll be home. So the appointment that I set up for the 24th, when I opened up the link to set that Zoom appointment up, the and I was hoping that it was after I came back. So, which is good. Um, their first date was like the 22nd or something like that. 23rd, whatever that first Wednesday is. And so, I set it up for the 24th. So, which is good because I've been and came back. I've been arrested a couple of days. And, um, um, yeah, and then we can get started on that. So, I've been talking for 10 minutes now. I need to get myself together, get ready for work. And, um, anyway, I just wanted to introduce this vlog. Like I said, welcome back. I know I haven't been on here for a while, but y'all, when I tell you that I'm an introvert, I literally don't do anything so my me doing something is going to my daughter's house going to the store walking the dogs i really don't go outside i don't have any friends um i have associates you know but i don't have like people that i actually hang out with all the time the people that i thought were my friends turned out they weren't my friends so but anyway i got a few minutes to do something to myself look halfway decent and get ready for work and i will um get back to you guys later like i, said, I just want to introduce the vlog and i will see you guys in a little bit <laughs> okay hey guys hey welcome back um well not welcome back i should say i am back um it is now 4.59. I done clocked out of work at five uh, at 4 o'clock. I went to... Uh, I uh, took the dogs out for a walk. Now I'm getting ready to get some dinner going. Um, tonight I'm just going to cook some... Uh, pork chops, some rice and roni, and, and uh, some kind of vegetables. Uh, so, but first I'm gonna drain this old grease and clean out my pot. And um, clean my meat and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, I hope you guys can hear me again. I don't have my microphone. And I was going to charge it up, but I'm actually using my good phone to record off of. And then I will have to take the case and everything off. And that's just too much work. So uh, I just have to talk a little bit louder so you all can hear me. Unless I'm just emptying out the old grease. I normally keep my old uh, grease containers to put my old grease in so I can have something to dump it out in. And y'all, <clears throat> I know you see this plastic on my chest. So, uh oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. So, y'all know I have this keloid on my chest, right? And it's, it gets real irritated. Um, which is why you probably see me like wearing um, shirts that come down here. Now, sometimes I can wear shirts like crew neck shirts that go up here and stuff like that. But 90% of the time I wear a shirt that come, you know, below this because it, it's real irritating. And I used to go to the dermatologist and they would inject it uh, to kind of flatten it out some. So it kind of worked like right up in here 
and but not on the ends. The ends is what's really bothering me. It itches and you can feel it swelling and sometimes it hurts. Um, I've seen several dermatologists, several uh, <clears throat> I have seen several dermatologists and several um, plastic surgeons and general surgeons. They say because it's located on my chest, they can't remove it. So I just pretty much have to live with it. So um, I bought some numbing cream. It's like for when you're getting tattoos and stuff and it's supposed to numb it. So you don't feel the pain or whatever. So I just bought some that. I'm trying that. And it said, you know, put it on that kind of thick and to put plastic wrap over. So that's what I did. Leave it on for like 45 minutes. So that's what I'm, that's why this is here. And I'm going to see how that works. So like right now it's itching like crazy. And then what's been happening too is that, um, around the keloid, like under here, like up here, Around this area, I started getting a rash, so I started using some um, hydrocortisone. It'll go away, and then like a week or two, it'll come back, and then it'll go away, then it's continuously coming back. So I talked to my doctor. I'm going to move you guys over here. I uh, talked to... Where well, am I going to put you at? I'm going to put you right here. Oh, hold on, guys. I don't have my tripod in here with me. Um, okay, so I talked to my doctor and um, he was telling me, he was telling me to pretty much stop. Okay, y'all, hold on a second. Uh, he was telling me to pretty much stop using the hydrocortisone and to use... Um, I want to say he said some olive oil. I'm not, I kind of don't really remember. Maybe I'll put you this way. But now you look blurry because of this light right here. Let me see. Um, what about this way? Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, so I got you sitting in the cabinet, so I hope <laughs> you don't fall over. So um, what I was saying was um, I talked to my doctor um, about uh, the, you know, this here, and he told me to, he told me to uh, stop using the hydrocortisone and use um uh, i want to say he said olive oil but and and i forgot to ask him like regular olive oil or like olive oil lotion or what i totally forgot so of course i'm still using the hydrocortisone um i say it works but it, it still comes back and you talking about itching it be itching like crazy and I really really be trying not to scratch it because I don't want it to spread so that's a dilemma <clears throat> so uh, I was telling you guys this morning I was telling you guys this morning about uh, the grant and stuff that I had got for my roof, right? So, Okay, yeah, so um, I was telling you guys about the grant 
that I had got for the roof this morning. So, so, um, the guy did come out. Um, he, he's, he said he was going to get here between 12.30 and 1 o'clock. He actually got here at 12.35. I really appreciate him being on time. And it's so crazy because my husband had a doctor's appointment this morning. And he was actually back in time for, you know, to talk to the guy, which was good because my husband know about these kind of things. And I wouldn't know what questions to ask as far as as the roof go so he did all the paperwork and also only two in here oh this is thick so he um did all of the paperwork and everything and uh he said i will probably hear something within 21 to um 30 days because I was asking him how long would it be before, you know, we hear anything because I was going out of town. And he said it'll be like 21 to 30 days. So he's like, once they, once he submits the paperwork, that may be a couple of days, um, you know, for his boss to look over it and everything and see what's needed. And, um... Then he's going to contact the contractors. He has three contractors that's with their program. So I guess whoever gives him, um, whoever gives him, who, whoever gives him the uh, better bid, I'm, I'm assuming. Y'all, this is just... The worst. I need my tripod. Uh, um, I'll put you over here. Oh, you might fall up here. Okay, so whichever one gives him the better bid, uh, is who they're gonna go with, and uh. Then they're going to contact me to see when they can get started. So hopefully all of that takes place, you know, after I return. And then he was also telling me that, um, so when he got here, he asked me, he said, so did you apply for the roof or the porch? Because the program is roof and porch. I told myself I applied for the roof because, you know, the roof is much more expensive. You know, getting a new roof is like twenty to $30,000, right? This pork chop is thick. Y'all look how thick this pork chop is. I'm glad it's only two. Um, so he was like, he had to ask because, you know, I told you this morning that they were so backed up. They had stopped the funding and then they had they just restarted it so they're trying to get everybody who's been waiting the past two years along with me had you know go ahead and get them taken care of so um <clears throat> he was like yeah people apply for one thing but they waited so like they may have applied for the porch and they waited so long so they end up coming up with the money and getting it done themselves. And so they just, uh, so they just transferred though that funding, um, uh, over to the roof, which is, I thought was a really good thing. And so what he told me, Hope you don't fall. So what he told me was, I said, well, I, I do want my porch done, but you know, the roof is the main thing. So he said, when they finish, when they finish with 
the roof or just about done with the roof, I can call his, call the office, talk to his, uh, his supervisor and let him know that, um, that he said, so the guy that came out, let him know that he said that my porch is in bad, is in, is in bad shape and it needs to be replaced. And then I don't have to go through doing the lottery again. I can, Wow, what was that? They just put me at the top of the list instead of um, having to wait. So he was like, he'll look at it and see that you've got, you had your um, roof done and they'll put you at the top of the list. So I'm thinking like, once you get a grant with them, you kind of get approved for everything because I started getting approved for stuff. And I told him, I said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that because I wouldn't, you know, I can use a new porch. The porch has never been replaced. I've been in this house 20 years. And and uh, so I was like, are they going to do, you know, just one porch, either the front or the back porch? He said, no, they're doing both. I said, okay, cool. That'll be a whole lot. You know, that's great. So I'm definitely going to call when... Um, when they just about done with the roof. And then he also told me to see what other grants that they have. He said, cause they have a lot of grants, you know, they get money from like the rich people and a whole bunch of different companies and stuff like that. And they have a, uh, a certain amount of time that they need to use this money for. So I get approved, um, you know, fairly quickly, which is good. So I'm mostly def most definitely going to do that. I'm going to see what other programs, what other grants that they have that I'm eligible for. And uh, we're going to go from there. Yep. I, and I, that was like really cool. So things is, is really starting to look up. It's uh, less stress off of us. <clears throat> now, Excuse me, the next thing is um, on the 24th, when I talk to the guy on the 24th to uh, to see what they're talking about. And I was telling him that, you know, that this was happening as well. And um, he was like, yeah, then that particular grant, they're going to do... Uh, like major stuff in the house. So like if I need windows, um, electrical and stuff like that. So I was telling him about last summer, I want to say last summer, my electrical panel outside, outside the back. It, but somehow it sparked and it caught fire. And I had to get somebody to come out and fix it. And so the person that came out, the fifth electrician, he was telling me that um, the wiring is really old and I would have to uh, call an uh, electric company to fix it because if it's on a house, they can't mess with it. So I had to call the electric company and then, you know, the, the wires from the house to the pole is what needs to be fixed. It's old. So what they have now, they have like the braided wire and this wire is just hanging. So what the guy was telling me today, um, I was telling him about that. He said, yeah, that's probably because it's an electrical problem. They're probably going to do that first. You know, I mean, as part as uh, the major thing that they did, that they're doing. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, about, you know, part of the major thing that they're going to be doing. So, which is really, really good because we have been trying to figure out um how to do that as well so uh oh i need some butter so um yeah things are starting to look up we actually starting to get some movement now which is really really good so we're going to see what happens 
Um, oh yeah, so another thing too, so I don't know if y'all, I, I probably never showed you all, but um, some parts of my house, uh, you know how you have like the peel and paint and stuff? He was telling me, um, that all of that comes from the roof because they waited so long for the roof. You know, whatever the problem was, it just got worse. And, and it did. So some places in the house, there's holes in the wall. Um... And he said all of that is from the roof. My attic is messed up. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, but like I said, I'm, I'm glad it's, everything is, is moving forward now. We've waited long enough. And like I said, that's something less that we have to worry about. Uh, two and a half cups. That's some that's less things we have to worry about. And then my husband, he be around here stressing real bad. So he's he's super happy that you know those things are being taken care of now. I'm super happy as well. That way I can put my focus on something else, you know. Yeah, that way I can put my focus on uh that's one Yeah. Uh I can put my focus on something else. So uh so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you guys around. I'm gonna show you uh what what I'm talking about with the ceiling and stuff. Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna say too. So the thing that they're gonna do, that he said that they're gonna completely tear down the roof, down to what they call like the studs. Um, they're gonna replace it. They're gonna check the chimney because I had a leak in the chimney as well. They're gonna see what what they can do about that because since it's part of the roof, they have to fix that as well. And um, new gutters. They're gonna do new gutters and um, fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide detectors, uh, smoke what are the smoke alarms? All of those are pretty much up to date. But if we can get more, then hey, you know why not? But um, yeah. So he was like, if they, if the the contractors. You know tear it down and see that there's something else going on and it's gonna stop them from fixing it they're gonna call the office and let them know hey you need to raise the grant money because this is what's going on which is really really good so that means it'll be done correctly so um yeah i'm i'm excited about that um and like I said, we're going to just see what else we can get, you know. We'll see what else we can get. So, but like I said, when I'm, when I'm done in here, I'm going to take you guys around the house and show you um, what's been going on. So, because I have like holes in the wall, like um, I had a leak and, and I said, we think it came from the chimney. So, we had called ourselves getting a chimney, not the chimney, the roof fixed but me and my husband think we got played so and i don't know if i told y'all the story before but the guys that came out um was saying that it was only like a couple of shingles so they supposedly supposedly replaced the shingles and uh he was gonna put a drone up there so that we can actually see it right so what he did when when they came down and he claimed he put the drone up there um he said that the wind took the drone so we never seen what the problem was 
Right. So yeah, we think we just got straight played with that. But uh, it's getting ready to be done correctly. I'm happy. I'm so happy that things are moving along. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what else we can get. And I'm most definitely going to call them about the porch. Definitely. Because uh, my porch hasn't been redone. Like I said, we've been in this house 20 years. It hasn't been redone at all. My husband just might patch it up, you know, put a screw here or there or whatever. But that was pretty much it. Hey guys, um, so it is actually a couple of days later. I'm uh, actually at work right now. I'm, I mean, I'm working right now, but I just realized that I told you guys that I was going to show you um, what's going on in my house, why I got the people coming out um, to do the roof and stuff, right? So I'm going to take you in this room here hold on so guys we here in my third bedroom the one that I was using as my woman cave as my lady cave but not really anymore I just kind of just put stuff in here now I don't really even sit in here like that anymore but let me show you this here okay see this right here this is from the roof um the, where the paint started peeling and because it was wet up there was some kind of leak I had so let me show you inside the closet this is inside the closet this is the attic let me see if, you can, if I can get it this is the attic Okay. so he got up in the attic and look but look what the water has done and all of this is from the roof all of this is from the roof um I don't know if you can see that part right there. I'm trying to... I probably should take you off the tripod. Hold on. Okay. This is better. Yeah, so this is um from the roof, from the water leak that we had. And we thought it was the chimney. So this is the attic. That's the cover for the attic. He just didn't put it back on. I don't know why he didn't put it back on. But um, that brick right there is what you see. That's the chimney. And then, like I said, all of this, all the way down, where it got messed up at, right there. And then, when he moved the, um, the, the cover, all of this, it fell out. Okay. So, that's just in this room. And then, like I said, <clears throat> and it started to come out to here. Okay. So, also, in this room right here, this is where my office is. This is my office space, okay? Uh, let me clean this camera. Okay, so this is my office space. This is where I do my work at. Right here is where the ceiling fell. Uh, from in the closet, all of that, it came out to here. That's about to fall. It's been holding on because it hasn't been wet outside. And all this right here. So this was actually a little hole. And then my husband tried to, you know, cut it, it, it to see um, where the leak was coming from. And he ended up making it bigger. So, but anyway, the guy did say all of this damage because we waited two years to get... Um, so the guy said because we waited two years for them to come and, you know, originally do something, it got worse, and which it did. And so right here in the bathroom, right here, um, my dog actually did this. So on the outside, this is the backyard. On the outside, there's um, right under the window, there's a hole there. And, <clears throat> Lord right okay <laughs> this is the in this bathroom 
this window in the backyard under the window there's a hole where the squirrels was getting in and so my dog was hearing the squirrels get this now it was already cracked like this here and so when she heard the squirrels in the wall she just started tearing at the wall trying to get to the squirrels okay so hopefully when i talk to guy on the 24th um hopefully he's going to uh when he sends somebody out they're going to take care of that I, i'm hoping that they redo that wall and put some siding back there but let me show you this other one here but like i said yeah this here this here came from this closet here all of this right here came from the closet here and then right in this room um where he said that the paint is peeling all of this is from the roof all of this is from the roof so by them waiting so long um because they held up the grant money um it, the 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 issue got worse this hole right here i don't even remember how this hole got here i don't know if my dog did this or what i don't even remember but then see all the cracks in the wall so i think that is a foundation issue i don't know if you can really see it i'm trying okay there you go kind of zoom in a little bit um i want to say that this is a foundation issue and hopefully um they can take care of that as well now this spot right here i remember i told you before this used to be my mother's room and she had a hospital bed and the bed was pushed up against the wall and it it, it um uh, it uh messed up the wall right there so that's how that got there but um this right here um i don't know how that got there. i don't know if the dog did it or what i have no idea and then in this room, y'all, I didn't make my bed up this morning, but I'm going to show you anyway. In this room, see how the paint is peeling? He said all of that is from the roof. It's, it's on this side, and then it started on this side. So, um, yeah, I want them to come on out, um, take care of this. So, I haven't heard from the guy. It's only been a couple of days. I haven't heard from him just yet. He did say it's probably going to take at least 21 to 30 days. So we got some time. I mean, we've waited two years. A couple a couple more weeks is not going to hurt. So um, I'm going to um, get ready to get back to work because, like I said, I'm technically I'm working. I just remember that I was supposed to show you guys this, and I haven't been on in a couple of days. So I'll probably get back to you guys later on in the evening or so. If not, then I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, y'all, so let me show you this window. So I'm still um, in this room, my second bedroom. That used to be my mother's room. So these windows, this window here is totally broken. This is why we never took the air conditioner out. The air conditioner doesn't even work. But this window up here is broken, and it's been broken um, for years. So my mother passed in 2015 it's been broken since before she passed away and this window is so old this is the old window okay and the windows downstairs um are old windows as well we did have we did um have some um windows replaced some years ago from uh from cedar and but they didn't replace all the windows so like this window here is a newer window this window in here is a newer window as you can see the windows in my bed um are newer windows but all the windows downstairs are still the older windows except the downstairs bathroom so all the windows need to be replaced and when we um 
got somebody out here to do um to do uh, an estimate on the windows we were going to get i think i want to say 10 windows and they they told me that they were like two thousand dollars per window so that was twenty thousand dollars gonna have twenty thousand dollars i paid twenty thousand dollars to get my garage fixed and i'm still paying on that i think i got about um eight thousand more dollars to go in there the last time i looked at the statement and we got that done about four years ago so yeah so yeah i'm hoping that they um do the windows and um do the walls and siding i hope so so like i said they're gonna do um um like the major stuff um which is the electrical i, I think he said the electrical and I, i'm pretty sure they're gonna do the windows because that's that would uh kind of help like on the heat bill put new windows in so yeah girl we got plastic on the windows downstairs and you know that really doesn't help it helps some but it really doesn't help so yeah i hope that they uh go ahead and get that done so um yeah, I just had to come back home because I realized I didn't show you the windows. I didn't show you my room closet either. So, guys, I just really want a whole new house, like, for real. Um, I wish I had the money to just get a new house. But, anyway, it is what it is. So, yeah, like I said, I just had to come back home because I realized I didn't show you the windows. So I'm gonna get back to work with time. It's, it, it is 12.22. I'll be going to go to lunch in about 35 minutes or so. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.